I was just coming down and crashing in London for like a while because my shit wasn't together. I lived in like 14 different places over the past four years. 18 months later, I rent two huge studios now. Like it's all actually like actually possible. It's not like uh, an art project anymore. It's more like how do you make this this living, breathing design mission statement into a viable business and stabilizing that, you know? So far, every collection's hit and it's had beautiful reviews, which I'm grateful for. But that comes with a pressure to make sure that your ideas are understood by two demographics. So, you know, you have the, the more fashion side and then you have like the youth, the kids, the streets, people who are of the culture. The only thing I think of sometimes is that I need to make sure these ideas aren't too like avant-garde or wild because at the well up until this point I've been trying to you know cover a lot of different tiers under one uh, brand name. Now we there's polyphene optics now and that's going to help separate the two it's going to allow a cold wall to be the avant-garde uh, you know, continuously growing smart fashion label that it needs to become and what it is destined to be. But then Polyphene can hold all of those ideas which belong in the streetwear realm. I kind of view all the designs as equal when I'm designing. I wouldn't say some designs are less or are, it's busier so it's lesser or it's more minimal so it's smarter. But it's just really interesting to see who reacts to what. There's a visual language in the brand that works for different regions which I don't need to 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 fracture or, or wipe away from the initial mood board. You know this story focuses on the UK but it's not exclusive to the UK. It's just a new type of energy and perspective people are willing to listen to. You can take certain pieces anywhere and people can relate to it. You know, it's more about like semiotics, visual language. How do you strike a visual language? What is your talking point? What are you really trying to say? Furniture, scores, soundtracks, yeah. packaging with Nike, yada yada, so much shit that didn't exist before. It's a bit more focused now. Yeah. Whereas before, it was like I felt like I had to carry this massive boulder yeah. to show everyone, hey, this whole world exists. Now everyone's aware of that. Now I'm looking more into you know case studies. Uh, a little bit deeper so rather than just looking at you know the, the textures and colors of a council estate I'm more interested in the relationships that are built within that council estate within like a family who lives on the fourth floor of a tower block what does the father in that Victorian building do for a living what materials does he interact with on most days blue tarpaulin or polyphene how can I bring those materials into a fashion context I want to be an architect man I'll probably study again in like the next decade, um, closer to 30 most likely. Now that I've split the split the content between polyphene and the cold wall, I feel like a cold wall will get to the point when it's ready to do walks. Because the ideas I have now, uh, I feel like, not that I've been capping them, but there's a space for them to exist in without uh, affecting the more accessible pieces. So I'm, I'm really excited to kind of push that narrative of a Cold War now.